country of northern Europe that occupies the western half of the Scandinavian peninsula. Nearly half of the inhabitants of the country live in the far south, in the region around Oslo, the capital, from where we are starting this trip today. <laughs> Norway is a limitless adventure playground for those with a passion from outdoors, and covers an area of 148,726 square miles, a little less than Sweden. A strikingly mountainous country, the average elevation is 460 meters with 32% of the mainland lying above the tree line. Due to Norway's climate, grain yields per hectare are lower than in most other countries in Europe. In many parts of Norway, Grass-based livestock production is therefore the backbone of agriculture. To supplement their income from domestic animals, vegetables, and fruits, a number of farmers pursue forestry as a secondary occupation, most of the forests are part of farm acreages. The 18 panoramic drives are some of the most beautiful road stretches in Norway, taking you along the coast and across mountains throughout Norway. In total, they cover 2,136 kilometers. Driving in Norway is an experience most people never forget. There's no lack of stunning roads and the scenery along them are quite often breathtaking. In Norway, autumn brings a wide range of temperatures and weather. Summery vibes may last well into October in southern Norway, while the rain sometimes turns into snow in early November in the mountains. All country is covered with forests, so with the onset of autumn all those trees are colored in various shades of gold, purple and orange. Leaves are wither very fast, because this season is extremely short and lasts only two or three weeks. We took a break in a restaurant with a classy look and a cup of cappuccino and some hot snacks. Restaurant was neat and clean and gave a good ambience. People began settling in Norway very early, in 9000 BC, in fact. This was after the end of the first ice age, so it was now an inhabitable location. Settlers survived by hunting and fishing animals such as seal, deer, elk and whales. During the 1840s, the Stortinget set up some laws that eased domestic trade. Now anyone who wanted to be a craftsman could be, whether in a town or village. Sawmill privileges were abolished so anyone could run a sawmill.
This place is so refreshing as it seems like a painting. The view is breathtaking and the small island is so beautiful. The railway passes through the banks of this lake and the climate is so rejuvenating. The freshness of air and the feel of peace. As we reached over the mountains there are lots of poles that we crossed on the sides which are for identification of the road once snow covers the entire mountains. Bergen the gateway of Norway is UNESCO World Heritage City and a city of culture.